Good morning, folks. It's August 23rd at a little before 9.30. I'm kind of keeping my voice down because I don't want to be yelling out and waking people up. Uh, I just want to say that while I was gone, uh, I could have come back to a bunch of brown, but I have a wonderful neighbor who agreed to water my plants, and so this is what I've got. Now, there's some losses, but they were pretty much dying before. So I'm going to have a bunch of cleanup to do. That'll sort of give you an idea. And the tomato plant, eh, well, you know what? It's the second year. I'm going to clean it up. We'll give it some water. We'll see what happens. That's pretty much what things look like up here. They're similar downstairs. And so I'll just leave it at that and update you after I start cleaning some of this up. But I got other things to catch up on. Okay, I just did a, about 10 minutes of harvesting um, the cleanup and it was mainly harvesting the, uh, the uh, chamomile. And so I was looking at some of the other stuff and I just noticed this. Looks like a watermelon to me. Um, really tiny, maybe about half to three quarters of an inch right now. But as I understand it, these things do grow fairly quickly. So we'll see. Right now it doesn't have a whole lot of support and I'll have to figure out what to do if it starts growing quickly. Anyway, that's a quickie update. Okay, here's a little holy cow moment for you folks. My camera is now at eye level. Lenses, yeah, right at about eye level. And I'm just under six feet. So you can see that first flower, which was the zinnia, I believe. Um, that one's actually maybe a little over six feet, or actually let's call it six feet, because it goes up and there's yet another, maybe another foot. Uh, so there's another bud coming up, and I didn't expect it to go up another foot. So this is now like a seven foot tall plant, including the, uh, the base, the pot, but still, you know, if the pot's only maybe a foot off the ground, that makes that sec second flower six feet out of the pot. That's just amazing to me. Okay, folks, it's Wednesday, August 24th at a little past 3.30. I've spent way too much out here in the time out here in the garden today. Um, I've been cleaning up a bunch of little bits and pieces. You're probably not going to be able to see much of a difference, but just to give you an idea, that's the temperature, and the humidity is probably below 20% because it just stops at 20. It won't show anything lower. But the one thing I wanted to show you today, this was uh, part of my experiment with ground cover with um, mulch, where I'd mulched up a bunch of clippings and dropped them in there. And before I took off on my little vacation, I saw this one was growing pretty nicely and I decided to actually leave it alone rather than pick it out like a weed because it's the only thing left in this pot. The original plant is gone. But um, the more I look at it and I look at the leaf pattern, I'm starting to wonder, let's see if I can get in here. Uh, well, I'm starting to wonder if it's something like, I don't know how well you can see that. That's my marigold. It kind of looks like the leaf pattern of a marigold, which might make sense since marigold was some of the clippings. So this may turn out to be an interesting way to do things, um, or if I mulch up my clippings and then drop them on top of other plants, if marigold was the only thing that grew, marigold being the gardener's friend, this could actually be a good thing. It helps retain the water in the soil a lot better. It doesn't evaporate out quite so fast. And if marigold ends up growing on next to the intended plantings, it can only help. Uh, well, in the vast majority of cases, I'm sure there are some plants for whom marigold is not a companion, but uh, they're few and far between. Anyway, that's the quickie, that was supposed to be a quickie update. Well, and just for reference, that's what the watermelon looks like. And I should say the, another change I made was I took the uh, broom corn and I put a little extension here on what was sort of like a lattice for the beans a little extension running across so they could actually mount them behind. Now you can see they keep wanting to run around. They keep getting tangled in other things. So I'm kind of hoping that that will help. I'm moving that manually. I'm hoping that that will help to keep them from, well, you can see there's the wind. <laughs> anyway, we'll see if it helps at all. Uh, if not, I may have to tie that one, that particular middle one on. Uh, that sucker goes way up. I may have to actually sort of tie it in place to keep it from moving too much and tangling with other plants. Anyway, that's it. Hello, it's Saturday, August 27th at a little past 10 o'clock. And 
And here's the sort of quickie review of the garden. It's going to be a scorcher today. Uh, but I suppose one thing to point out is the watermelon's getting a little bit bigger. That's kind of nice to watch. Uh, the tomato actually looks like it's turning color as small as it is. There's one singular tomato and it actually kind of looks like something happened to it. I don't know what. It kind of looks like a mutant. Um, but we'll see if that turns into anything. The corn just not looking great. So uh, the next couple of days I may just decide to pull it. There's no more leaves. I've been cutting off dead leaves and there's nothing left on the one on the left. I think that's just drying out. One on the right. I don't know. It's changed color. I don't know if that means anything. So it's just not looking good. Um, the beans, they're still kind of hanging in there. Um, I did pull one out and, and threw it away. Um, well, actually not threw it away. I put it in my clippings. But uh, the broom corn, interestingly enough, the one here way over on the left, that just seems to have stopped growing, but the others continue to grow. So we'll see what happens with all of that. Okay, folks, now it's a little past two. I have uh, emptied out and then partly refilled my clippings. Uh, took them to the uh, food processor, which I actually broke. <laughs> But I only got it for eight bucks at the thrift store, so. Um, and created some of what I guess we can call Uncle Ed's Magic Mulch. Um, basically, I took the clippings, chopped them up, and turned them into a mulch that I put on top of the dirt. Now, this one first planter or last planter, depending on how you look at it, on my railing. Um, most of the plants in there were turning brown. Um, they were from last year. I didn't plant new ones in there this year, except if, actually if you watch the videos, you'll see I kind of transplanted a bunch of stuff, but there were old plants that got transplanted. So I'm now looking for new growth because this is the one planter you can really see. Let me head over here to the stairs. So if you happen to be coming up the stairs and look over at my apartment, that's the first one you can see. So. Uh, what's nice about the mulch is that it has clippings and it has flowers um, and that's my air conditioner struggling um, it's hot but uh, what's nice is it has uh, flower clippings uh, flower heads that have gone by and what have you and so they ultimately turn to seeds so we get some surprises I suspect that's what's going on anyway because I have another one over here which I referred to earlier which looks an awful lot like a marigold um, and that has the mulch in it from the last batch which had some marigold heads in it so we'll see what happens I'll give you some updates on that one meanwhile I've cleaned out a lot of the garden I don't know how easy it is to see but uh, that's kind of where things are as I struggle to deal with the heat that's bad it's almost 90 degrees inside my apartment because this air conditioner just can't keep up anyway that's it for now good afternoon it's august 31st at a little past two and here's the uh, semi-weekly or whatever you want to call it update uh just kind of give you a little drive by and the one that's got me excited this time around is that watermelon so it's getting a little bit bigger See the broom corn doing okay. Bean plants are still hanging in there. Corn looks pretty much dead. Um, I just haven't taken the time to rip it out yet. Tomato plants looking kind of sick. I don't know if it's too much or too little water. At this point, I'm about ready to give up on it. Uh, I'll show you the one oddball tomato. There's the oddball. Uh, this is too small to. Eat, I think. I don't know. I'll, uh, at some point, once it turns red, I'll pick it off and we'll see what happens. Uh, there were a couple of other buds, but uh, they don't look so good up here. Maybe we had a couple more up on this part, and you can see the dead branches. Uh, there's a couple right there. Uh, so let's give them, give them a tap. Oh, there's a couple more over here. We'll give them a little tap, and we'll see if that helps. 
Uh, not much on this side. Nothing to write home about. That's pretty much upstairs. Downstairs is pretty much as it's been, so I think I'll skip that this time. And that's it for now.